Shalom, Yashua, first and foremost. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakrash, the bonds to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule one, who taught us this truth and salutations to the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity, with the brothers from the Great Millstone camp here in Chicago, and Lord willing to add a final lesson. Yeah, and just basically we were going to go into, um, uh, you know, um, for brothers that are, you know, starting, brothers that are barely, you know, across the line, um, you know, n new converts, basically, you know, to not be scared to uh, uh, um, to preach the word, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, to uh, uh, when we come out there to preach it boldly, you know, and, um, he, you know, you, you are, you're going to feel a little nervous. You know, at first, that's, you know, that's a normal feeling, you know, but don't let that stop you from, you know, doing the work of the Lord, you know, because they, the more you do it, the, the, the more uh, uh, you study, the more you listen to videos, the more you, uh, uh, um, you know, go outside and, and, and teach, the more comfortable you, you're going to get and the more confident and the more uh, uh, things are going to flow better when, when you're preaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know. But don't let that, you know, just because you feel like that, oh, no, it's not for me. No, how are you going to know if you never try? You know? Do you get that? First Timothy 4 and 12, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Mm -hmm. See, so don't let, just because you're, you're you know, of, you know, new in the truth, you know, uh, uh, whether uh, physically, let's say you're actually young and then you're spiritually young because you've already find, find out about it. Don't, don't let none of that, you know, uh, uh, don't be scared of that, man, you know. Pre hey, preach the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai directly and correctly. You know, a lot of times, you know, uh, you know, you might you might not realize or know it, but you'll be you'll be motivating older men just because of how confident and and and, and uh, how well you're preaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. You know, older brothers might see themselves uh, 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 in you. Damn, that reminds me when I was young. Damn, that, you know, a brother, an older brother might be like, damn, you know, he's, he's setting a good example of faith. You know, what, what am I doing? You know, and now he's motivated. You know, so hey, instead of being, you know, having that scared feeling or or a nervous feeling, you know, think about it like that. You know. Mm -hmm. Right. This is Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if you're giving your time over to this, are you going to be more confident in it? You've been reading over and over, looking up words, all right, understanding the, the meaning, you see? Because it's more than just knowing that you're an Israelite. you got to get understanding. And once you're built up, you got to teach others, you see? And at first, you know, because it's a new thing coming out, it's only a new thing in this life, man, because the, the, the spirit is subject to the, the if we get that, uh, first Corinthians. Yeah, because, hey, we once knew these things, you see, this is a uh, first Corinthians 14, verse 32. This and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So, all right, this ain't nothing new. We're, we're back in our flesh. All right. Doing what we do, you see, and that's why we have to to be studying in this word and, and practicing it, you know, being a doer of the word, being an example visually, all right, conducting ourselves in the manner of righteousness, as the scripture says to do, you know, and once you're exercising these things, these things uh, uh, built up confidence, you know, and confidence goes in with, to, uh, with faith, you see, going, going, going over breakdowns over and over again, all right, you know, after so many times, it just becomes like second nature. You know, it comes out very smoothly. All right, you're able to explain it in few words. You know, and that all comes with time and experience. You know, and the more you do this, the better you get. Just like in anything, yeah. you know, like Apostle Gabar says, uh, repetition is the father of skill. All right, 
and they have taught us the, the, the way, the blueprint, man. The, the apostles are always studying, always in the scriptures, you know. And that's why they're so bold, man, because the Spirit's heavy on them. It's dealing with them, you know. Same for a young man coming in. He's, you should be on hot, you know, hot for the Lord and, and getting into these things, you know, and, and really praying to the Lord because it's the Lord that's going to, you know, give you everything and help you out. You guys know what I'm saying? No, uh, this, this is uh, Proverbs 15 and 28. This is the heart of the righteous study to answer. But the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. You know, so hey, uh, 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 you're a righteous man. You know, yeah, you're going to study. It's cause, why? Because you don't want to go off. You know? And, and and that's another thing. If you're scared of, oh, what if I say something wrong and all that? Hey, nah, don't, hey, don't be scared. Study. Study more and keep on studying. And then, you know... You'll be confident uh, enough to be like, you know what? I know this breakdown. You know, I know what this is talking about, and you'll you'll do it. Right. This is Titus two and six. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say to you. You know, so the point is, is in seven about having uh, that pattern of good works. Again, if you are, are constantly in this word, all right, giving your mind over to these prophecies and laws, statutes, commandments, all right, hey, it's going to be that much easier for you, for you to, to, for the Lord to withdraw it out from you. You see, because these things have to be in your inward parts. All right, and, and the Lord's going to put you in situations to build you up. All right, people are going to come up and ask you certain questions, you yourself. All right, and, and since you've been studying, the Lord's going to draw it out in that very moment. It's the Lord speaking, you know, through you, you know, and that's why, oh, you know, real quick, um, one of Shakira's favorite scriptures, one second, Ephesians 6 and 10, you know, be tr trust in the Lord. Uh, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, you know, because the Lord is the power over all flesh. He's in control, you know. You study and just trust in the Lord. The Lord will do the rest, man. Mm -hmm. God, Alright, so this is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1, and I'll start at um, 7. For Yahweh hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not that be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh. Right, hey, hey, not, not a spirit of, of, of fear, but of power. You know? So we gotta trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, that hey, that that he's with us. That he's with us and, and that he's gonna if you're sincere, he's gonna guide your mouth to speak only righteousness. And if you if you if you have uh, if your tongue slips, hey, the, the Most High knows that you didn't slip uh, uh, from the heart. But from the heart, you know. You know. So it, and then it also said, "Well, be not ashamed uh, of the gospel." You know, at, at the end of the day, the Lord's going to have our back no matter what happens, man. Don't be scared because, oh, what if this person gets mad or what if, what if they attack me? Hey, the Lord has our back, you know? The, hey, the Lord, hey, hey, the Lord, many, many times he has delivered people in, in, into our hands, man, you know, and showed mercy uh, unto us, you know? And if something does happen, hey, that's why, hey. The scriptures talk about um, um, not, you know, basically letting go of, of, of your life. Be ready to lose it all. You know, because, hey, this is part of the, um, this is part of the battle. You know, that's why the elder, uh, the elder Makama here in Chicago, he always says, um, his intro, he always says those that are risking their lives to do so. Yeah. You know? You know, what, what, what does the scripture say? Uh, beautiful. 
Are, are the feet of them that come no. preaching the tithes? Oh, no. oh. Oops. <laughs> Beautiful are those that risk their lives. Um, and freedom to do so? Well, that's what. Oh, you're getting the scripture. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. It's a beautiful sight in the eyes of the Lord. Oh, yeah. That's something like that's allowed. Here. Okay, I got it. This is Psalms 116 and 15. Mm -hmm. This is precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of the saints. So that's the most honorable way. If it happens, that's the most honorable way we could go. So if you got to have that in mind, we're going to go out there, man. You know? And mold yourself to uh, mold yourself to it. Be in the, be in the scriptures, man. You know, mm -hmm. the more you're into, the more confident you're gonna be. The more willing, you know, to go through this, you're gonna be. You know, right. everybody. But remember, the Lord doesn't, you know, uh, um, forsake us, man. You know, he said he said he said the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Yeah. You know, and the Lord is so merciful that if, that if, if that has to be your lot, He can should He could do it where you do uh, uh, so called die, but you don't feel a thing. You see, mm -hmm. but all that comes when we when we go out there boldly for Yahweh Shemashak, fight for the truth. Unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. I was just getting that. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus. Four and twenty-eight. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Mm -hmm. There you go. You can never go wrong in doing that. The Lord is not gonna uh, forsake us as long as we fight. Hey, the Lord is gonna be with us. He's gonna fight for us. Yeah. It is Joshua one and five. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was, oh wait, wait, this, I wanted the other one, I'm sorry, one second. Man. It's a lot here. This is uh, Joshua 10 and 8. And the Lord, Yahweh, said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. For, those, for there shall not a man of them stand before thee. You see, and the Lord is with us even today. Like he said, he'll always be with us, even unto the end. You see, so we don't have to fear any of these people, especially when we're, we're brothers, other believers, all right, doing this work where two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst. You see, the Lord be at camp, all right? So we ain't got nothing to fear, man. We're going to confound these people with the milk, man, with the basics, which is, in itself is very heavy. And these people in the world will are, are drown with it, man. All right, it's not for everybody. We just got to keep doing what we're doing, you know, feeding the flock and getting built up and building others up as well. This is uh, Matthew 10 and 28. That says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body mm -hmm. in hell. You know? Um, they, so we got to fear the Lord, man. You know? Uh, men can't do anything but literally just destroy your flesh. But the Lord, hey, you know, he could put you in a situation where, in a hellish situation, you know? And, and, and that's worse, man. That's worse than that. You know, so hey, who are you going to fear, man? Hey, the consequences of the Most High are worse than the consequences of man. Right. Sorry, brother, you got a scripture you had? I think you were, I think you were holding something. This is Ecclesiastes, better known as Sirach chapter 2. Verse. And I'll start at nine. Ye that fear the Lord Yahweh, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did any ever trust the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah, hey, and, and that's nobody, you know? You know, every the Lord came uh, uh, and had mercy on everybody, even Stephen. You know, now the scriptures also don't say it. You know, but if 
if you look up and you're seeing the Lord and while getting stoned and you're able to just say it like that right you know hey the Lord is merciful man he controls everything he controls pain he controls you know uh, what you feel how long you feel it for so on and so forth right the Lord could just as soon as, soon as you know let's say let's say you know you're about to you're about to die as soon as you know, that thing that, that killed you, whether a puncture, a rock, whatever, you know, that is just boom, spirit world. You know, no pain, no nothing, just, you know? So that's what we gotta be, we gotta fear the Lord, man. You know? And, and, and that's what we gotta fear the Lord. And when you look at all the accounts of the prophets, you, uh, you see that the Lord never forsook them. Right. Even if they, they went through a situation like stuff. Hey, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, what is it, the third chapter? It tells you that though in the sight of the unwise, they seem to be punished. Oh, this, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 2. Oh, it started at one, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. That's it. For though they be, um, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Yeah, so the Lord is not it's not forsaking us. Right. You know? The Lord controls life and death. You know? So he could bring you back a, whenever he desires. That's not the end like Esau tries to make it seem. You know? Right. You only live once, no. Right. Even, even though we have to die, there's, there, there's still hope, man. Especially, for, you know, we're dying because because we're dying for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, verse five. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for Himself, as gold in the furnace has He tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Offering. Right. Yeah, He proved them and they and they passed the test because they died. You know, like Job said, though he slay me, yet will I maintain my, my ways uh, uh, before him. Mm -hmm. You know, they kept their integrity. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and because they did, the Lord is going to reward them. What's that, what's that reward? Those, those, those heavenly bodies. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mercy, yeah. Well, verse 7, in the time of their visit, visitation, they shall shine. And run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. Right. What is that? That that's them getting the spiritual bodies. You know. So right. that's the reward. You know, and 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 this is gonna happen to those that happen to be martyrs. So there is still hope, and the Lord still hasn't forsaken us, man. Right. Even if, if that happens. Verse 8, they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their Lord shall reign forever. Mm -hmm. Right, because we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. You see, sorry, and he's going to share the kingdom with us. All right, verse 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he has a care for his elect, man. All right. So there's no need to fear. If you fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you don't need to fear man. Okay. Okay. We just gotta keep doing what we're doing, and just keep waiting on the Lord, and finish the work. Yeah. You know, it says that those that follow Him are gonna sit upon twelve thrones. Right. You know. Okay, what you got? This is Psalms chapter 22. 
I'll start at three. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praise of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and they were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. So, you know, just like the brothers were going into, man, like, we got to go through the corruption to put on the incorruption, man. We got to go through the hell, go through the hellfire to come out as gold, man. Just like it says in Revelations, man. That's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's why we, we, we got to keep that in mind and just be bold when we come to the Lord, man. You know? Get yourself ready to, you know, get used to these words and all that. And the more you do, the more you study, the more repetitive you are uh, with this truth, the more confident you're gonna you're gonna be. Cause now it's gonna flow better. Now your skills is, is gonna be better. You know, like, hey, like the verse is just like everything else. The more you practice in that, the more better and com- more confident you're gonna be doing it. Right. You know. And with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechat Kodash, the Barnes, the Apostles, and others, Great Millstone, who rule one who taught us this truth and salutations to all the Akim pushing this word in truth and its sincerity with charity. Shalom. 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 Shal